Welcome everybody. My name is Ron Meetus. Actually, Hello. we're at Canada Day uh, 2011, and we're at Pickering. And Pickering has the 200th anniversary for Pickering. So we've been invited to do dancing, storytelling, um, hanging out, enjoying Canada Day. So come on a journey with us and enjoy. Happy birthday. Just like to say thank you all for having us here. Uh, me and my sisters here, we are Spirit and Wind. And we're sitting here today with our, our uh, young brothers here, the best of Gush, and uh, some of our community dancers who will introduce themselves as, uh, as we go along here today. So we're going to share an opening song with you, and, and thank you for having us come for, for your beautiful Canada Day celebrations. Canada is what we call, including uh, North America, is what we call Turtle Island. And so it's really beautiful any time we have an opportunity to honor our on a Turtle Island, to honor our Mother the Earth. And that's why we've come here to celebrate with you today. So we have an opportunity to honor our Mother the Earth on the
Isaiah. Yeah. That's my mom. Yeah. Uh, my name is JJ. Hello, my name is Doyle. opening song it's a welcome song and um, what we're gonna do now is have a grand entry which means that all the dancers are gonna come in and what the grand entry is is kind of like the beginning of a powwow the, the dancers will come in and show you their style of dancing Canada Day! Hey! Also, like to say happy birthday to Pickering for the 200 years. You're still a small, young town. What I have on right now is called a grass dance regalia. What it represents is it represents the prairies and the grass that used to grow. Now, back before Europeans came. The tribes of the plains would, would gather together after the winter time, uh, calling spring gatherings, which later became powwows. What we would do is the grass would grow quite tall. It actually grows taller than I am. And the grass dancers like this would go out into the field. They would probably be about 200 young, boys, men, grandparents, grandfathers, we would go out and we would dance and we would pat down the grass. What we would be doing is we would be making space for the village, for our teepees. When we would leave, the grass would spring back up after a while. We wouldn't burn the grass because we would be destroying our relatives' habitat, which are the plants and the animals and the birds and the fox. All these creatures that live on the prairie, we lived and coexisted with them. So we never tried to destroy their land, because in return, we would be destroying our own land. That's the grass dance. I'd like to introduce my young friend, DJ. Hello, 
my name is DJ, and I was born in Toronto. That's it. <laughs> My name is Tanya Cordoba, and uh, I was born and raised in Toronto. My father is from South America, actually, Colombia. It's one of the largest uh, indigenous nations from Colombia called the Nasa Payas Nation. As Sue said earlier, this is called the Fancy Shawl, also known as the Butterfly Dance. Uh, my name is Tanya, and uh, my spirit name is uh, Standing Feather Woman. Uh, the style of dance I'm going to be doing is uh, women's traditional. Chimigwetch, Chimigwetch, Chimigwetch. <laughs> 